so <laughs> the mainstream media man they just they, they can't stop right russia which is again legally in syria they, they are in syria legally at the invitation of the syrian government unlike the american invaders and their allies um russia bombed a uh a get-together of terrorists that were stealing syria's oil right so it's important to understand that this has been going on for many years right uh at one point isis had complete control of, of the oil fields uh again it's just 50 flavors of jihad right it's just it goes from the hands of one terrorist uh, to to another and at the end of the day um the, the goal of this, it's not just to make money, uh, specifically when it comes to the United States, their goal of occupying Syria's oil fields is to deprive the Syrian people of income, right? Th this is part of the strategy of le let's strangle the Syrian people. Because uh, again, uh, if you look at the IMF uh, figures from 2011, oil accounted for 25% of government revenue. A quarter of the government's revenue is coming from oil. So, you know, th think of how many millions um, Syrians are being deprived of. And yesterday, okay, um, you had the Russians, they, they, they bombed uh, two places. So one of them uh, was in uh, north, uh, northwestern Syria. So we're talking about um, Bab el Hawa. This is the crossing between Turkey and, and Syria. Right. And then, of course, the, the mainstream media, the way they report it, as usual, they say that, oh, the Russians and and uh, the Syrian regime bombed a hospital. Right. So as they say here, the U.S. sharply con condemned uh, Monday a wave of Russian and Syrian regime airstrikes over the weekend that targeted a hospital and killed several civilians. Um, I mean. If you ask me, all right, if you ask me. I mean, this does not look like a hospital. Th those are oil tankers. That's that's not a hospital. OK, <laughs> uh, that, that is no. These motherfuckers again, this is from uh, Faris. He does great reporting. These motherfuckers are stealing millions from the, from the Syrian people. OK, they, they are running an entire racket, stealing the oil from Hasake, uh, from Deir Zor, and then, you know, taking it uh, through uh, into Turkey, and they've been doing this for years, right? And now they say, "Oh, look, this, the Syrians are bombing uh, a, a hospital." No, that's not, that's not a hospital, okay? And uh, they're also saying that oh, they're they're targeting uh, rebels, the Syrian National Army. The Syrian National Army. Th this is <laughs> this is a front that is backed by Turkey, okay? That, that's what it is, because they struck two locations, right? So let me show you on the map, actually, over here. This was in uh, Sarmada. Okay, so again, this is near the Bab el Hawa crossing into Turkey. And uh, the other place was in Qah. So, uh, you know, they're, they're saying, oh, they struck the rebels and oh, they struck a hospital. No, 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 they didn't. They, they, they didn't. Okay, you, you motherfuckers were stealing oil. That's what you were doing. And, you know, <laughs> they're trying to say like, they hit a gas facility. No, it's not a gas facility. You're you're stealing oil and you're running a goddamn illegal uh, market. It's it's not a gas uh, facility. Uh, other other people that I, I saw, they were calling it uh, the the Russians and the Syrians bombed a commercial a civilian commercial center. What? <laughs> yeah, that's that's a very nice way of saying a goddamn black market for stolen oil. Yes, it's technically commercial activity. But it's fucking illegal. You're pirates. You're thieves. You're terrorists. L literally terrorists. And they're trying to portray themselves as <laughs> civilians. What? No, no, you're you're not. You're you're plundering the fucking oil. And you know, of course, you have the uh, the white helmets who rush onto the scene. You know, and 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 try to pretend that ah, uh, oh, it, it's it's the mean old Russians. They're they're at it again. It's all their fault. This was a hospital. Th this was a. a, a uh, my friend Kavork, what did he say again? He said, he said, a kitten sanctuary. <laughs> Dude. I mean, who, who do they think they're kidding? Honestly.
صعدت قوات النظام وروسيا من قصفها على قرى وبلدات جنوب Right so this is another funny thing about how they also they always say also um uh regime forces it, it's the Syrian army dude like did you ever hear someone say the Biden regime forces no you you say the US military the US army it's it's the Syrian army i mean you may not like the Syrian army but you sound like a dumb fuck when you call it Assad regime forces. No, it's it's literally the Syrian army. It's the army. I mean, I, I don't know what, what you're saying here. Right? You, they don't say that for any other. They don't use that nomenclature for anyone else. Do they say the, the Boris Johnson regime forces? What? You would never use that for anyone else. The, the, the language is on purpose. Okay? So you, you know this. Um, and they use it in every context, of course. Right? So if the country... If the country does not suit Western interests, now it's a regime. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go again. See? What did I tell you? As Assad regime, Russian strikes. Okay, well, give me, give, me, give me an answer here. Why didn't you say the Putin regime for the, the Russian part? Like, why is one a regime and the other is not? <laughs> like, which one is it? No, they can't tell us. They can't tell us, man. And so... Um, yeah, this, this is the, the border crossing that we're talking about. And, and the strikes uh, at Sarmada, so this was over here, very close by, right? And, and what's interesting is, of course, that, um, you know, you have uh, Turkey that is coming out and, and, and condemning it, okay? So... Turkey's defense ministry said a missile launched by Syrian government forces had struck uh, Qah and a truck and trailer park near Sarmada injuring seven civilians. Why, why is the Turkish defense minister uh, involved in this? Can I, can I understand that? Like, it, it, <laughs> this is in Syria. What, what does the Turkish defense minister have to do with that? I'll tell you why. Because, again, this, this so-called Syrian national army, this is a front, okay? It's, it's a rebranded uh, version of the Free Syrian Army. It's, it's a bunch of, you know, uh, mercenaries that have been hired by Turkey. And Idlib, which is the entire governorate, which is the entire uh, province, if you will. It's not just a city, it's a province, right? So let me pull up the map for you again. Okay. So you have Idlib province over here. Okay. I mean, th this is almost entirely occupied by jihadists right now. And uh, th that's not an exaggeration. It it's, you know, mo mo you have uh, the Turkish army that's there. There are uh, proxies like uh, the SNA. And then, of course, you have... Hayat Tahrir al Sham, which is HTS. And HTS is a rebranded version of Al Qaeda. Right? It's, it's a rebranded version of Al Qaeda. And, you know, they, they tell you in the media that, oh, well, Idlib, it's, you know, it's, it's constantly being uh, uh, just r ruthlessly, ruthlessly bombed by the Russians and the Syrians, and uh, they're only bombing hospitals. Yeah, they, they completely leave out the fact that they're stealing millions of dollars worth of oil they're running a fucking racket through here and that the city is you know packed with 20,000 jihadists you don't think that's worth mentioning no you don't think that's worth mentioning oh here goes my internet again so that's cool did my internet cut out it's it i'm pissing off someone again I'm pissing someone off again. I saw I saw my internet lag for a second. So just to also tell you something else, right? The US, the United States controls 90% now. 90% of Syria's crude reserves. Fuck me. Okay, so the Syrian oil minister, uh, look what he said. The Americans and their allies are targeting the Syrian oil wealth and its tankers, just like pirates. So his name is uh, Bassam Tomeh, Tomeh, I'm, I'm not sure how to say his family name. But um, he said that the cost of direct and indirect damage to the Syrian oil sector stands at more than 92 billion. Now, you, you have to, that, that, that's not a joke, right? Um, if, if I recall correctly, Syrian oil exports, they were bringing in about 30 million a month. 
This is pre-war, so we're talking 2011, 2010. If I recall, it's 30 million a month. Now, when we talk about damages, I mean, that's, that's one month. Add up 10 years and include the fact that these uh, terrorists, they've been making makeshift refineries, right? So they've been doing things like, uh, you know, p polluting the environment. People are getting illnesses from that. The, who's going to clean all this up? This costs money. This is dam damaging to the environment. It's damaging to people's livelihoods, to their health. Not to mention all the goddamn fighting on top of it, right? So he says here, what has happened? What has happened all through Syria has not happened in any country in terms of preventing us from tapping our wealth resources and at the same time stopping basic commodities from reaching our country. Again, they're trying to, they're trying to strangle Syria. That's what it's all about. That's what it's always been. And it's, it's really like a mafia. I mean, it's not an exaggeration to say that, right? They're sending a message to all these countries, to Syria, to Iran, to Venezuela, who, who have oil-based economies, right? They're telling them, you either give us a cut, you pay for protection, right? Like you see in the movies, you have some mob figure, you're going to pay them for protection. You give us a cut of your resources or we're going to fuck you. And in the case of Iran, Iran have been very smart. They understood that it's a liability to have an oil-based economy, right? So they've diversified over the last years. And one of, those, one of the ways that you, you wean yourself off of that, you develop a nuclear energy program, right? Again, not a nuclear weapons program like they, they tell you. No, a, a nuclear program for civilian use. And the United States doesn't want that, right? No, no, they, they want to keep Iran, they want to keep Venezuela, they want to keep Syria dependent on... Uh, their, their oil and steal it too, right? So like you give us a cut or we're going to fuck you. We're going to take everything. It, it's, 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 a, it's a mafia. These people are criminals and they're pirates. And just like they're stealing the oil from Syria, like you see the U.S. has control of 90% of the crude now. You saw what they're doing also in Venezuela, right? They were stealing, uh, uh, you know, the, the oil that was sent from Iran to Venezuela. They just pirated the ships. Like, what do you call that when you board a ship and you steal its cargo? That's piracy, literally piracy. <laughs> like in the 16th century. Piracy. Right? And it's not just, it's not just that they're, they're actually physically there plundering the, uh, the crude in Syria. It's also that the sanctions make sure that it cripples the infrastructure. So in, in the case of Venezuela, for example, Venezuela is lots of crude. They can't refine it, though, because the infrastructure has been crumbled, right? They can't bring in parts. So they're sitting on the world's largest reserve of crude, and, and, and they can't do anything with it. And, you know, they can't refine it for themselves, and they also can't sell it because of sanctions. I mean, it, it's, it's ridiculous. These people are, are, are disgusting uh, uh, gangsters. And then, you know, when, again, just to conclude, when Russia and, and, and Syria put their foot down and... and stop these people from smuggling and stealing the oil. They don't tell you that. They don't make any mention of this, that these motherfuckers are smuggling the oil. They're stealing it. No, no, no. It's all, they, they, they hit, you know, a, a gas refinery. <laughs> what? It was a hospital, man. No, that's not a, that's not a hospital. Okay. <laughs> this is definitely not a hospital. All right. Who are they kidding, honestly? Like, who are they kidding? It's, it's uh, common knowledge that they're stealing this crap. Uh, I showed you the clip, Lindsey Graham, Mike Pompeo talking about how uh, the Kurds and uh, the Americans are stealing the oil over in northeastern Syria. So in uh, Hasakeb, uh, Deir Zor, that's where you have most of the oil fields, right? But one of the ways that they're bringing this into Turkey is through uh, Bab el Hoa now. And of course, I mean... There's nothing new. They've been doing this for a while. So, you know, it's, it's just propaganda, right? It's, it's just same old propaganda. And uh, just to show you one more thing, you can see in the video here. Right, look at this.
That's absurd, man. It's absurd. And, uh... Hold on, can you see me again over here? Yeah, good. So, uh... Just, just uh, talking quickly about the white helmets. Um, yeah, here's another headline. Yeah, so they're, they're saying that, oh, Russian jets hit Syrian cities near Turkish border as army artillery hits hospital. No, they, <laughs> no, it, they didn't hit a hospital. Okay, like these, these underground caves that they're using uh, to heal Al Qaeda fighters. No, these are not hospitals. Okay, uh, if you go on, if you go on um, YouTube or anywhere on the internet, you'll find tons of videos of these disgusting uh, terrorists filming themselves blowing up actual hospitals. Like, you know, a hospital, a hospital, not some some cave construction for jihadists, an actual hospital. I, I, I saw a video just earlier, like they, they'll film it from afar, you know, and, and they're just like glorifying the fact that one of them is driving up with a truck full of explosives and then just demolishing a fucking hospital. Have you ever heard that reported? No, of course not. Right? Once again, I, t I tell you that the war on Syria, half of it is propaganda, right? A, lo a lot of it is propaganda. And the white helmets that you see over here that, oh, they're rushing to the scene. They're trying to help. Yo, we, l we literally know who created you and funded you. We have the fucking receipts from the uh, FCO, Foreign and Commonwealth Office. OK, you, you were created by British intelligence. Don't, don't come here and play games and act like we're stupid. We have the receipts, the, the documents we, we know. Half the war is propaganda, man.